Good evening, uh, everybody. My name is uh, Dr. Mazar Amirali. Uh, I'm a physician and a nephrologist and uh, working with the uh, Africa Health Network as the country medical director for Tanzania, but also deputy to Dr. Lloyd as the chief medical officer. And uh, today is a landmark fireside chat. It's uh, the number 150. Uh, and we have a special guest uh, with us, uh, Prof. Vivek uh, Kute. Uh, he will be uh, taking us on understanding kidney paid donation or kidney exchange in kidney transplantation, the Indian experience. But before he takes the floor, I would just like to briefly uh, speak about uh, him and his achievements. So Professor Pute is a distinguished professor of nephrology and transplantation at the Institute of Kidney Disease and Research Center. Uh, and uh, Dr. H. R. Trivedi Institute of Transplant Scientists, uh, Sciences in Ahmedabad, India. With a favorite dedication to advanced organ transplantation, he has held key roles in organizations such as Indian Society of Organ Transplantation, serving as a treasurer from 2018 to 2023. Dr. Pute's influence also extends globally, where he serves as a counselor to for Asia at the Transplant, the Transplant Society, contributing to critical committees like TTS Data, Harmonization Committee, and the Declaration of Istanbul Custodian Group. In, ad in addition to his administrative commitments, Dr. Kute actively contributes to scholarly community uh, as an editor of the Indian Journal of Transplantation, and through his involvement in multiple uh, organ transplantation organizations in uh, India, his impact is felt uh, regionally as well. His tireless efforts have uh, garnered widespread recognition, including prestigious awards like the University Gold Medal for Nephrology and the Fellowship of American Society of Nephrology. Dr. Kute's groundbreaking work in expanding living donor kidney transplantation through kidney paid donation has earned him international acclaim. Under his guidance, uh, he has achieved remarkable uh, milestones, um, including a world record of 77 paid kidney uh, transplants in a single year in the year 2015. His prolific research comprising of over 130 peer-reviewed publications and his role as a sought-after speaker at national and international conferences underscored his pivotal contributions on advancing transplantation, particularly in developing countries, where his efforts have facilitated successful living donor kidney transplants through single-center kidney-paid registries. Uh, it's a truly an honor to have uh, such an entity gracing our 150th fireside chat. Uh, welcome, uh, Prof. Kute. Please take the floor. Thank you. Thank you, organizers, for giving me this opportunity to talk on kidney pair donation, our experience from India. Let us see what is the organ transplant scenario in India. 80 to 85 percent transplants in India are from living donation. 15 to 20 percent are from disease donation. Majority of the transplants, around 80 percent, are in private hospitals, and around 20 percent transplants are in government hospitals. This is the number of transplants performed in India from year 2013 to 2021. The red column indicate disease donor transplant. Green column indicate living donor transplant and blue column indicate total number of transplants. This is data for kidney transplants, liver transplants, heart, lung, pancreas, lung and small bowel transplants. And these are the disease donor transplants. So majority of the transplants in India and in Asian countries are from the living donation. Disease donation is active in uh, West and South India, like Telang Telangana, Tamil Nadu, Karnataka, Maharashtra, and Gujarat are the top five states shown in green shade, which are having active disease donor 
kidney transplant program. The Northeast India shown in dark red color. They have not started either their living and disease donor transplant program. The left uh, map of India is showing living donor kidney transplant activity. The dark green shade shows that living donor kidney transplant activity is high and red color shows that there is no living donor kidney transplant activity. This uh, map of India is showing kidney pair donation which is also called as swab transplant in India. Gujarat, Maharashtra, Kerala, Rajasthan and Delhi are the states having higher number of KPD activity in India. Now I will briefly discuss our experience of kidney pair donation transplant at Kidney Institute Ahmedabad which is largest public sector transplant hospital in India as well as Asia. We have 1250 beds for organ transplant, for multi-organ transplant, mainly kidney, liver and less commonly we do pancreas and uterus transplant also. Our uh, transplant hospital was inaugurated by Honorable Prime Minister Shri Narendra Modi ji in October 2022 and main feature of high volume transplant activity in our center is the government support. All the government schemes are available so we provide transplant at free of cost or at subsidized rate. So government support matter in organ transplantation. This is the year wise number of living and deceased donor kidney transplant at our single center from year 2000 to 2023. The red column indicate deceased donor kidney transplant. Green column indicate living donor kidney transplant and blue column indicate total kidney transplant performed in the respective year. This is data of over last 23 years. So over the last uh, one decade, our hospital is performing around 350 to 400 kidney transplant each year. Now we can, uh, the red column can show the shift of deceased donor transplant. In year 20, uh, 2000, deceased donation contributed to around less than 5% of total transplant and in year 2023 deceased donor contribute to 44% of deceased donor kidney transplant in our single center. So in contrast to national average of 15% deceased donor kidney transplant in our center the deceased donation contribute to more than 40% over the last two years due to dedicated efforts made by our state organ and tissue transplant organization. Now what is swab transplant? In a swab transplant, two incompatible donor and recipient pairs, they exchange organ with each other to receive more compatible transplants. Traditionally and in gold standard, both the surgeries are performed simultaneously to avoid any donor lineage. So what are the advantage of kidney pair donation? Kidney pair donation can be performed in any center which is doing living donor kidney transplant without need of any infrastructure required as in case of desensitization protocol. Outcome of kidney pair donation is similar to any ABO compatible living donor kidney transplant. So long term outcome is much better as compared to the ABO incompatible transplant. Disadvantage of kidney pair donation is that this is uh, more time is required to take the legal permission to manage the logistics and coordination. That is the only disadvantage in kidney pair donation transplant. Then ABO incompatible transplant or HLA desensitization transplant. Uh, these transplants can be performed 
in center which is having a established practice for high risk transplant and they need uh, to carry out the desensitization protocol like plasma exchange and other therapy and they should have proper immunology lab to monitor the outcome of such transplant and this advantage of abo incompatible transplant is higher cost for abo incompatible transplant and next is the inferior outcome as compared to the abo uh, compatible transplant and in india and especially in asia or of course in african countries infections they are main concerns for carrying out the abo incompatible transplant uh, this figure is showing number of kidney pair donation transplants at kidney hospital amdabad from year 2000 to 2023 so we are performing kpd transplant over the last 23 years but from 2000 to 2010 only few, uh, around 50 kpd transplants are performed in 2011 uh, I, I was made in charge for kpd transplant at our single center uh, thereafter, there is a substantial growth and progress uh, in KPD transplants. Uh, over the last uh, 15 years, we have performed around 500 KPD transplants. And from 2000 to till date, we have completed 535 KPD transplants in single center out of 5300 living donor kidney transplant. So, KPD transplant form 10% of living donor kidney transplant in our single center. Then this figure shows percentage of KPD transplant. That is in year 2023, KPD contributed to 22% of living donor kidney transplant. In year 2015, KPD contributed to 25% of living donor kidney transplant. So from year 2015 to 2023, KPD has contributed to around 15 to 20% of living donor kidney transplant in our single center. During COVID pandemic, there was fall in uh, KPD transplant because COVID as a health priority over elective living donor kidney transplant surgery. So we have reported this as a world record. In year 2015, KPD increased our living donor kidney transplant by 25%. Then what are the allocation rules for uh, KPD in our single center? The primary requirement is ABO compatibility. Then we use short chain over the long chain to avoid logistic problem. Then minimize age difference between the donors. This is very important. In our uh, perspective, the most common parameter which is matched by donor and recipient pair is a age difference between the two donors. If the donors are of similar age group, they easily accept the offer for the KPD. And when age difference between the two KPD donors increases, the patient can reject such offer. So we should try to minimize age difference between the two donors. Then we give bonus point for sensitize and difficult to match patients. Then 2018 onwards, we are using software for uh, KPD allocation provided by Alliance for Pair Donation. We express our gratitude to uh, Professor Michael Reeds, uh, CEO for Alliance for Pair Donation and Nobel Laureate Professor Alvin Roth for their generous support to our institute for the KPD software without any cost. Then key feature of kidney pair donation activity at our single center. 
awareness and counseling at very early stage we provide pros and cons of available renal replacement therapy like swab transplant abo incompatible transplant hla desensitization protocol then disease donor transplant and uh, dialysis hemodialysis and peritoneal dialysis so pros and cons of available renal replacement therapy is provided to the patient so that they can take informed decision then kpd registry kpd registry is maintained at our single center and uh, main success of our single center kpd program is our high volume living donor kidney transplant program one third of the donors are rejected because they are either abo or hla incompatible so these patients can be registered in a single center kpd program then dedicated team work to overcome the logistics then uniform evaluation and care standardization of hla laboratory early registration of the donor and recipient complete workup before final allocation that is nephrology fitness urology fitness anesthetic fitness so allocation of the donor recipient pair is done after complete medical evaluation so that this avoid chain collapse then robust immunological evaluation in case of each uh, kpd transplant we perform lymphocyte cross match flow cross match and donor specific antibody it prevent unequal outcome because of immune injury then non anonymous allocation non anonymous allocation means donor and recipient pairs can meet each other before saying yes for the kidney pair donation transplant they can share medical reports of patient and donor with each other they can take opinion of their family physician so this is a patient and donor centric policy this is known as non anonymous allocation this practice is in contrast to the uh, developed world where anonymous allocation is done that is donor and recipient pairs are not allowed to meet each other then exchange kidney of similar quality and simultaneous surgery obviously the gold standard in kidney pair donation is the simultaneous surgery that is two patients and two donors they are operated simultaneously to avoid the uh, donor lineage so these are the key features of success in our single center kpd program 77 kpd transplants at single center in india lead to increase in living donor kidney transplant by 25% in year 2015 this report is published in uh, clinical kidney journal uh, and you can go through the details of this uh, publication then who are allowed to participate in kidney pair donation only near relatives can participate in kidney pair donation so what is definition of near relatives as per transplant human organ act parents spouse sibling children and grandparents these are called as near related donors in india any donor other than these near related donors they cannot participate in paired kidney exchange donation then what are the reasons for joining kidney exchange the blue uh, shade indicate abo incompatible as a reason for joining kidney exchange red shade shows these pairs are sensitized and green color shows that donor recipient pairs were compatible but they participate in kidney exchange to get benefit like young donor age or better hla matching so around 75% of donor recipient pairs they participate in kidney exchange because they are abu incompatible 
that is common reason in India. Then what are the milestones of paired kidney exchange in our single center? We started two-way kidney exchange in our single center on 1st June 2000. From 2000 to 2013, we have performed only two-way exchange because the logistics uh, is an issue for performing a longer chain like three-way exchange, four-way exchange and longer chain. The first three-way exchange was performed in our center in February 2013. First four-way exchange performed in April 2016. First five-way exchange performed in November 2018. And first 10-way exchange, that is 10 patients and 10 donors were operated in January 2020. So for, for reaching a 10-way exchange from 2-way exchange, we need almost 20 years. So basically, we should gradually increase the chain length in kidney pair donation transplants so that we should able to overcome the logistics because large surgical team is required, many operation theatres are required to carry out a longer uh, chain in kidney exchange. Then we also perform KPD with desensitization protocol. The first KPD with desensitization protocol was performed in November uh, 2012. This was a two-way exchange. Then we increased the chain length to three-way and four-way exchange in 2014 and 2016. So gradually increase the chain length even when we combine KPD with desensitization protocol. Then 90% of kidney exchange transplants in India, they are two-way exchange because the logistics are very simple to carry out two simultaneous kidney transplant surgery and two donor surgery. So what should be the optimum chain length in KPD? The optimum chain length in KPD can be a three-way exchange. If we increase the chain length to beyond three-way uh, exchange, this increases the logistics and uh, this also increases the need of large surgical team required to carry out simultaneous transplant surgery. So uh, we should try to do the two-way and three-way simple exchanges before we uh, proceed for the complex uh, uh, longer chain in kidney exchange transplants. Then limitations of the kidney pair donation is that transplant for O group patient and sensitized patient uh, could be less. So how we can increase transplant for O group patient? This is with the help of compatible pair. So what is compatible pair? Here donor one is wife with blood group of O and recipient is husband with blood group of A. Now O donor can give kidney to A recipient. So that is why this pair is called as compatible pair. Now this compatible pair participate in kidney exchange. And how we can give benefit to this compatible pair? We can provide them young donor age or we can provide them better HLA match. So, in case of spousal donor, where we do not anticipate any HLA matching in our center, especially when spousal donor is above the age of 45 or 50, we uh, provide them the counseling about the compatible pairs, benefits of the compatible pair, and if immediate donor is available without waiting for any long time, they can proceed for the transplant. So, compatible pair is commonly used in the San Antonio single center program in USA and they have increased transplant for O group patients and other uh, difficult to match patients. Then, can we do a combination of KPD with ABO incompatible transplant? Here in the upper panel, 
the patient blood, blood group is O and donor is A. So, for example, with the ABO titer, with the family member is high, and if the ABO titer with the swap donor is low, for example, this O patient is having ABO NTA titer of more than 512 with the family member, but he is having ABO titer of 64 and below with the kidney exchange donor. So, in this case, we need less desensitization therapy to complete the ABO incompatible transplant. So, cost of desensitization therapy will be reduced. Obviously, the complications of desensitization therapy, they will also reduce in such a combination of KPD with the ABO incompatible transplant. So, Australian program has used such a combination of KPD and ABO incompatible transplant to increase transplant for O group patients. In uh, year 2013, in uh, our single center, in single day, we have performed 10 KPD transplants on occasion of World Kidney Day 2013. These are 10 patients and 10 donors. The, they uh, consist of five two-way exchanges and they were operated in single day over 12 hours. Thereafter, these patients and donors become education ambassador for the KPD transplant. They went back to their uh, dialysis area and they provide counseling about the cost effective uh, KPD to the other dialysis patients where they were doing dialysis previously. <clears throat> so in this way, we can use patients and donor as an education ambassador to provide about pros and cons of renal replacement therapy. Then international KPD. In February 2015, we performed international KPD. This is a pair from Portugal and this is pair from Rajasthan, India. This KPD transplant was performed after appropriate permission from government authority. Then Apex uh, Center Mumbai has performed first international KPD transplant in India before we perform this uh, second pair. And in uh, December 2023, the Apex Group Mumbai has performed second, uh, third international KPD transplant in India. Then we perform four-way KPD with desensitization and four-way non-simultaneous KPD to increase transplant for difficult to match patients. This is our published report. You can go through other details of this uh, four-way KPD. Then first single center, five-way non-simultaneous kidney exchange cycle. So five patients and five donors exchange kidney with each other in this five-way exchange. These five uh, patients were from five different states of India. And after uh, this KPD transplant, they remain in contact with each other as a friends. The outcome of patient and graft survival is 100%. So this is a, a unity in diversity. That is the social message given by this our five-way kidney exchange cycle. Most important point to uh, discuss here is that as per Transplant Human Organ Act, hospital, district or state in which KPD transplant is proposed to be done should give permission for the KPD transplant. And there is no need to take the permission from different states when uh, donor recipient pairs are from different states. Otherwise, this will increase the time required for taking the legal permission. Then uh, in uh, September uh, 2015, we perform our first six-way uh, cycle of a kidney exchange. Here the six patients and six donors, they exchange kidney with each other. Uh, out of these six patients, uh, some patients were highly sensitized. So we perform this uh, long chain. Uh, otherwise, commonly we perform two-way and three-way kidney exchange. In uh, February 2019, uh, we perform 
uh, another six way kidney exchange cycle in our uh, single center these six patients were from six different states of india and they participated in kidney exchange to receive more compatible transplant so two patients were highly sensitized with cpra of 90% we were not able to match them in a short chain so that is why we prefer a six way cycle for this six patients and six donors in uh, january 2020 we performed the longest chain of kpd in india as well as asia 10 patients and 10 donors they were operated uh, non simultaneously because uh, we are, we were not able to complete uh, these uh, surgeries in a single day because of limited surgical capacity in the, during that uh, time frame so after careful selection of patient and donors these patients were operated uh, non simultaneously without any donor lineage so what is the future potential for kidney exchange then this is a multi center program then software allocation one nation one swap transplant program and the main advantage of the kpd is that it is outcome is similar to any abo compatible transplant and it has a potential to prevent transplant tourism so now it is a uh, time to start the multi center program in india the advantage of multi center kpd program will that it increase the donor pool it increase the quality of matching it increase the quantity of matching then apex group mumbai has performed the uh, multi center kpd in india they performed this uh, kpd in different hospitals uh, in mumbai pune then Uh, Aster group from Kozhi Kode, Kerala, Dr. Firoz and his group, they have also performed the city-based uh, kidney exchange program in the state of Kerala. So it is now time to expand the kidney exchange in India with the multi-center program, state program, so that this successful program could emerge to the national KPD program. so what are the advantage of the national program in national program less surgical team is required to carry out simultaneous transplant surgery in the multi center program that is one of the biggest advantage in our single center uh, so far we have completed more than 70 uh, kpd transplants in a non simultaneous way but only after careful selection of patient and donor there is a 0% donor lineage and uh, in case of a long chain like four way five way six way and 10 way kidney exchange we perform the uh, kidney exchange on uh, subsequent days so that there is no long waiting time for the bridge donor so in our single center the donor lineage is 0% this is the largest series of non simultaneous kidney exchange cycle reported in the world literature so kpd is bureaucratically complex but medically simple and abo or hla desensitization protocol is medically complex and bureaucratically simple <clears throat> but in uh, asian countries in african countries cost is a uh limiting factor so that is the reason that kpd transplant is preferred over abo desensitization protocol then what is outcome of kpd in our single center this is our published report and we have shown that outcome of kpd is similar to other abo compatible uh transplant and in our report we have shown that infection Uh, is higher but infection is higher in any kidney transplant in india so that is important point to describe here and donor survival is 100% then does donor recipient age difference matter in outcome of kpd transplantation 
so when donor recipient age difference is below 20 with sample size of 700 versus donor recipient age difference about 20 with sample size of around 800 there is no difference in patient survival and graph survival as shown here in the kaplan meyer analysis so donor age doesn't matter this finding is useful in the single center program where do, uh, there could be an age difference between the two donors. Then what is a, a difference in living related donor transplant with better HLA matching versus KPD transplant with expected less HLA matching. This is our single center analysis and we have shown that there is no difference in patient survival and graph survival in living related donor transplant with better HLA matching that is 3.2 versus KPD transplant with poor HLA matching. <clears throat> of course, this is a short term follow up and the short term outcome is equal because of thymoglobulin induction. Uh, in more than 90% of our KPD transplant in our center, we use thymoglobulin induction around 2.5 to 3 mg per kg single dose and only in selected cases uh, we use the non-depleting therapy. Then Indian Society of Organ Transplant has published this guideline on KPD to increase the living donor pool. Again this uh, guideline is published uh, in Indian Journal of Transplantation. You can go through the details. Uh, in this uh, publication due to time limitation I will not able to cover the details of this guideline. Then what is Indian experience with KPD? This is the report published from India. So Kidney Institute Ahmedabad has performed 535 KPD transplants so far in India. Then uh, Dr. Firoz Aziz and his group in uh, Aster and Ikra Hospital in Kozikode, Kerala has performed the second highest number of KPD transplants in India that is 151. Then uh, Dr. Suraj Godara from Mahatma Gandhi Hospital uh, Jaipur has performed third highest number of KPD transplants in India that is 125. Then uh, Dr. Bansal from Medanta Hospital and Dr. Uh, A.K. Bhalla sir from Gangaram Hospital uh, they have performed uh, high number of KPD transplants around 120 in the North India. So these are other reports published from Mumbai as well. So outcome of KPD transplant is similar to any ABO compatible transplant and much better than any ABO incompatible transplant. So uh, each center should establish the KPD transplant and we should expand our practice from single center program to city based program, state program, national program so that we can use all different modalities like KPD, ABO incompatible, HLA desensitization, disease donor transplant. So all these modalities are complementary to each other so that we can increase uh, access to the transplant for difficult to match patients. So what is uh, there in pipeline for India? Uh, now we, uh, we are very hopeful to expand our multi-center program. Then we, uh, we can use a combination of KPD and incompatible transplant, especially for O group patient. In very carefully selected patients, we can use liver versus kidney exchange and exchange of living donor versus deceased donor waiting list. So our study provide evidence for expansion of single center program uh, and now it is time to start the multi center program, uh, city based program, state wise program so that all these successful program should merge in the national kidney exchange program. I would like to acknowledge the contribution of our mentors. Uh, Dr. H.L. Trivedi, Dr. Vinabhan Shah 
डॉक्टर विनीत मिश्रा डॉक्टर प्रांजल मोदी हेड ऑफ आवर डिपार्टमेंट डॉक्टर हिमांशु पटेल डॉक्टर जमाल रिजवी सर डॉक्टर सुबो डॉक्टर दिव्येश इंजीनियर डॉक्टर पंकज शाह फॉर द टीम वर्क सो दैट वी कैन अचीव द माइल स्टोन ऑफ फाइव थर्टी फाइव किडनी एक्सचेंज ट्रांसप्लांट इन आवर सिंगल सेंटर थैंक यू फॉर युअर अटेन्शन थैंक यू वेरी मच प्रोफ कुछ and uh, what an what an achievement it is uh, something for us to perhaps maybe envy and dream about uh, to that extent uh, i welcome now uh, questions so the first question is um, is it is it that every now and then you expand or build new theaters for complex kpd we started with the simple two way exchange and gradually learning from our experience now we are using the complex methods like pain way exchange combination of uh, kidney exchange with desensitization protocol so that we can increase access to difficult to match patients like o group patients and highly sensitized patients trying to set this up is that we have uh, a dearth of uh, of surgeons right so we try to recruit more surgeons and on the way then we can set that up but i wanted to know from dr kut have you done this in in children in pediatric patients yes yes so around uh, out of our 535 swap almost 10% are the children oh, good so yeah so we are using uh, uh, in pediatric as well and uh, this is uh, one of the way to increase the donor pool for pediatric population i must say we are a bit fortunate uh, locally i don't know what it is internationally but whenever we have a child that needs a donation the mother or father is very ready to donate and they are excellent matches <laughs> i mean so uh, in most cases not all but in most cases unless they have some problem so i must say that that way you know we're not short of live related donors but of course uh, pet donation will increase the pool if they are incompatible see but thank you very much for the talk thank you uh, prof bima uh, prof kute there is another question here that says how do you handle the issue of uh, donor reneg yeah basically the gold standard in kidney exchange is the simultaneous surgery so in right. our center so far we have done around 72 non simultaneous swap but that is after careful selection of patient and donor with mm-hmm. 0% donor reneg but Uh, uh the simple way for this that the transplant should be done on a sequential day for example then we want to perform six way swap we will perform three pairs today and three pairs tomorrow so waiting time mm-hmm. between the for the bridge donor should be the minimum just to take care of our limitation of large surgical team is uh, required to carry out simultaneous transplant surgery if mm-hmm. we wait for a long time there is possibility of donor drainage so minimum waiting time for the bridge donor and careful uh, simultaneous transplant surgery is always the gold standard uh, non simultaneous surgery is done only in carefully selected donor and recipient pair and waiting mm-hmm. time for the bridge donor should be as minimum as possible so that we can mm-hmm. take care of our limitation of limited surgical capacity but the mm-hmm. new center should definitely go with the simultaneous transplant surgery so that this issue right. will not happen we have another question here it says uh, do you remember the outcome of the first kpd of 2000 so i think this uh, meaning the first kpd transplant what is the outcome for it which was done 20 years ago you are asking whether that patient is live or dead like long yes, term yes. i i believe that is the that is the context of the question Uh, yeah um, i'm not sure specific about that pair but uh, yeah. our patient and graft survival uh, for all these 535 pairs is uh, like any similar to our living donor kidney transplant program because uh, K- kpd is just like any uh, living donor program there is nothing extra in the kpd other than the logistics management but uh, this is important question I will, i will go back and check the database for this specific query thank you prof uh, uh, maybe if i can just uh, uh, 
um, ask a question as well. Um, uh, so is the KPD program like uh, advertised or so how does somebody kind of come to uh, know or join? Is it ad uh, actively advocated or advertised or is there a registry that you follow or is there some sort of software that you can track these kind of patients? So basically the logistics of the whole uh, process, how does that work? Yeah, basically, we are the largest government hospital uh, in yes. India for transplant. All yeah. our transplant are free of cost because government yeah. provide us money for the transplant. So yes. main publicity is by word of mouth. And hmm. regarding the software, uh, so yeah. till 2018, uh, yes. we were using the manual allocation. For example... There are two ABO incompatible pair. We just matched the donor mm. age and mm. we were uh, using the manual allocation. But since right. last five years, uh, we uh, we are grateful to get the software free of cost from Alliance yeah. for Pair Donation. Uh, Professor yeah. uh, Michael Rees uh, is a CEO of the program and yeah. we are using this software and this is very useful. If any yeah. of uh, your colleague wish to use this software in your country, I will yeah. Uh, yeah, let you connect it with the, their team. Right. Thank you. And and with regards to the ethical aspects of, of the paid donation, uh, uh, how does how does that uh, come into place? So do you seek uh, special ethical approval or ministerial approval or legal approval for the paid transplant to, to occur? Yeah, as per uh, Transplant Human Organ Act, in India, only near related donors, they are allowed yes. to participate in kidney exchange. And definition right. of near related donor in India is uh, blood relative, like parents, spouse, uh, parents, sibling, grandparents, children, and spouse is also calculated in the near relative. There is no uh, special permission any process right. which is followed for living related donor transplant, the same procedure is followed for the KPD transplant. Okay, okay, no, that's that's fine. Thank you, Prof. I think the question is about the software. I mean, uh, besides just the KPD, will the software actually uh, help even in the regular transplant process? So if you have an opportunity, because it, uh, the KPD uh, to a new center is always new. So the chances of a KPD coming up with the use of a software in a center doing transplants, uh, will it be useful? Yeah, yeah. The same software can be used for disease donor program as well. Uh, this is okay. uh, very useful and it has okay. many uh, user-friendly features. No, the reason why I asked about the ethical uh, uh, question is that uh, uh, when I was training in South Africa, there were uh, a few uh, cases where you would get, uh, you know, have to have ministerial approval. So Minister of Health has to intervene to allow, uh, you know, the, the transplant to take place. And uh, this is because of uh, the organ, organ trafficking um, issue that had occurred many, many years ago. Uh, so that they are very, very strict uh, with that particular aspect. So given that technically these patients are non-related, uh, uh, you know, would that kind of be an ethical dilemma? But Prof has already answered that uh, that question that uh, the near relatives are part of the exchange program and there isn't anything specific uh, from, from the Indian government side. So yeah. uh, whether other than near related donors like friends, they are yes. allowed to participate in your country? Uh, no, no, no. We 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 only do uh, we only do uh, related transplants, not even near relatives. And I see uh, uh, Dr. Shaw is here, who uh, leads our kidney transplant program in Dar es Salaam. It may be, maybe she can just uh, give a bit of light on that. Dr. Shaw, please go ahead. Yeah. Good evening. Thank you for a very enlightened uh, presentation. I would like to. First of all, it was very detailed and actually the, I congratulate the hospitals for the much efforts done to, to increase the donor pool. As Dr. Mazar has said, we really are struggling with uh, donor shortage. And I think pet donation is one of the things that we'll have to look at. And uh, with these examples that we, you use the same, uh, the same protocol that uh, India is using, that, that uh, we use uh, 
siblings, parents, and like uh, near relatives as the donors. So one thing I wanted to ask is that, uh, have you faced any challenges after the surgery? Like suppose let's say one recipient had problems and uh, they had like the, if you give, my, I give, my donor gave a kidney to another one and that one is doing well and I got from another one and I'm not doing well. Are there any legal issues? Uh, yeah, uh, so you are asking about the unequal outcome. So for this, the counseling of the patient and donor before allocation is very important. For example, we counsel them that there will not be any unequal outcome due to donor related factor. But mm -hmm. there is a chance of 10% unequal outcome due to mm -hmm. patient related factor. For example, if one patient is diabetic, uh, mm -hmm. he is having some heart disease and that patient mm -hmm. died immediately after the transplant because of comorbid conditions in the recipient. Mm -hmm. In this case, this unequal outcome is because of patient related factor. This cannot be blamed to the kidney exchange. So mm -hmm. such kind of counseling always help uh, in case of unequal outcome. And we have never faced any issue uh, in case of unequal outcome because the counseling is very important. Because if any diabetic patient with comorbid condition, uh, whether he go with the related donor with AB incompatible transplant or he will participate in kidney exchange, he will uh, develop complication because of uh, his comorbid condition. So counseling is very important in this scenario. Thank you very much. And if I can ask another question, when you are starting the, your program, uh, for example, can you start with uh, your patients at the hospital? Maybe you know this patient and the next patient and you advise them and they like swap their donors or you you really have to to do something else like they have to be from different hospitals and like that. No, no, nothing, nothing. The, uh, our uh, all experience is from single center. And uh, there is nothing such prerequisite. Uh, just prerequisite is that we allow patient and donor to meet each other before allocation. They can share medical reports with each other. They can take opinion of any family doctor if they want to take, if that is desired. So this is, uh, this is very open policy uh, so that this increases the trust between the transplant team, patient and donor patient and donor centric policy and openness always increases the trust uh, in allocation process. If we don't allow them to meet, they will have suspicion in the mind what is going on. And in, if we don't allow them to meet and if there is an equal outcome, they might thought that this un unequal outcome can be because of some inferior quality of the donor. But if when patient and donor meet each other before allocation, they can see that everything is fair and transparent. So it means uh, it is patient initiation, I mean initiated rather than uh, provider initiation. We provide them whatever is the best option available. We maintain the database of patient and donor. We do the software uh, uh, allocation. We see what is the best match is available for patient and donor. We call them. We allow them to meet each other. They can take some one day time if they want to uh, have more time for asking any query. And then uh, we lock the pair uh, for the transfer. Thank you, Dr. Shaw. Thank you, Prof. Uh, there's another uh, question from uh, Dr. Ben Lomachayo. Uh, he's asking how many uh, paired kidney transplants can be done manually without the use of software? There is no such uh, upper limit for manually. The only limitation in the manual will is uh, that uh, we can have more uh, ABO incompatible oh, that, pair that, that, that. for doing the uh, long chain for sensitized patient. This is very time consuming mm. process. We need more time to match each antibody uh, of patient and donor. But uh, yeah. Uh, yeah, there is no such a limitation, but this is a time consuming process. Probably we, not, we may not find uh, good quality of match or we can miss good quality of match with the manual mm -hmm. process. But uh, mm -hmm. 
uh, we should we, we can definitely start with the manual allocation there is no problem because we have yeah. done manual allocation for 15 years for example uh, we have, uh, almost 80% of the patient and donor they are just abo incompatible so what we mm. should match we should match their abo blood group and we should match the donor blood group so mm -hmm. uh, there is no such um, limitation in manual allocation definitely you can start with the manual also the right. only advantage of the software is that it increase the matching uh, rate for the sensitized yes. patient right so it's more efficient obviously right uh, another another question um, i'm not sure if this is perhaps in the context of this talk but anyway uh, it says how do you handle patients with SLE requesting, requesting kidney transplant? Yeah, there is no problem of SLE as a basic disease leading to end-stage renal disease. Uh, once patient with SLE develop ESRD, the lupus activity is already, already inactive. And yes. anyway, after kidney transplant, that patient is getting the triple immunosuppression. Uh, that Correct. is a standard yes. treatment even for the SLE. Uh, yes. So... It is not going to affect uh, any outcome after transplant. I don't see any more uh, questions in the chat box. I'm not sure if the panelists or any recipients have. It's phenomenal that you've done 10 uh, together. Uh, what numbers of team members are required? And and how do you go about it? Is it a lot of preparation? How do you organize that 10 transplants together? It, I, mean, I don't know how many centers in the world can, have done it or uh, are doing it. Uh, what are your comments? Thank you for your advice. Yeah, we have the large surgical team. And okay. this uh, we have done just to educate the other patients about awareness for the transplant having better quality. Definitely, uh, more surgical team is required to carry out uh, simultaneous transplant surgery or sequential transplant surgery. But uh, simultaneous surgery should be the gold standard in kidney exchange. Thanks, uh, Prof. Uh, another question is, uh, are there any special concerns in patients who are HIV positive? Uh, so there is no special concern. They should be eligible for transplant, just like uh, routine practice uh, in the HIV positive. Uh, we have yes. to see that they should not have any opportunistic infection. Their uh, CD4 yes. count should be appropriate. Uh, yes. If they are not appropriately prepared, they will lead to unequal outcome due to patient-related factor. The, but mm -hmm. this is not good. Uh, even yes. uh, unequal outcome is there because of patient-related factor. This is a, a setback to one pair. So just uh, appropriate uh, selection of the patient is required and nothing special. Thank you so much, uh, Prof. Uh, Dr. Cho, uh, would you like to say something? Your hand was up. Yes, yes. Uh, I, I heard that uh, the dose of ATG was... Uh, if I had properly, is uh, one, two to three milligram per dose or per day. Was it a single dose or it was uh, for single three dose. days? Yeah. No, no. We use a single dose of two to three mg per kg, depending <laughs> on the HLA match. So if it, uh, some patients are also getting HEPLO match, uh, in that case, we use two to 2.5. And with the poor match, we use uh, three mg per kg single dose of the thymoglobin. And is there any reason why you are not using the non-depleting? Uh, non-depleting, uh, we, uh, we can use if they are having a good match, a good HLA match. Because what the KDGO guidelines suggest, if there is a haplo match, we can go for non-depleting therapy. If it is a poor match and more mismatch, uh, we have to go with the depleting therapy. So it depends how much match is there. Uh, because in our program, we have used a compatible pairs also, uh, where pairs participate in kidney exchange to get a uh, haplo match of the kidney and young donor age. So in selected cases, if there is a good HLA match, uh, we have used the uh, IL-2 blocker that is simulated. Uh, thank you very much, Prof. Uh, thank you, Dr. Shaw. Um, if there are no any further questions, um, I would like to hand over to Dr. Lloyd for the closing remarks, please. We have our uh, annual okay. meeting of Indian Society for Organ Transplant in October at Ahmedabad, India. Yeah. I will request all of you, if possible, 
to come for our meeting we have a lot of workshops surgical workshop common sessions so this would would, uh, would be of your interest thank you prof yeah i think uh, this is phenomenal i think uh, prof jyoti uh, thank you very much the wonderful leadership the vision the dedication is it improve the form of transplant and even up to you know 20 25% of live donor transplant is amazing actually truly amazing and i mean it serves as an inspiration to and to all of us actually and uh, you know i'm confident that your continued efforts especially in organ transplantation in india the the all the, the activity that you actually perform you know will pave way for greater advancements in organ transplantation in the country and i think again i should mention to everybody that actually prof tute today was uh, in duty looking after the prime minister of the country and still made it possible you know to attend and talk to us into africa so you know that is the dedication and commitment that we have you know to the field and you know with deepest gratitude and admiration thank you very very much for today's session and we hope to put it up on youtube and it is a learning and inspiration to a lot of people in africa thank you professor kutte yeah no thank, you, thank you sir for the opportunity it was pleasure to interact with you